And 
here are just some other projects for people who have to take lots of medication or even when uh, children have to take insulin or they have to take certain things that they kind of feel shy like walking around with all this medical all this stuff there's those privacy packs that they can just put it in you give it to them um, the homeless community um, i have a lot of churches that they actually get all their kids together and they make all these projects and then they just pass them out uh, in homeless uh, communities and they'll give them like um, Tylenol and Advil, they go to the dollar store and they do like this little care package and they keep them in the back of their car. You know, it's teaching children about social good. It's teaching children about kindness. And for, for those of you that are, are with faith and you believe in God, that's what the word teaches, right? Is that not what it teaches? You know, it teaches for you to not just say that you're going to do something, but do it without people saying, thank you. Without people saying, yay. I always say to tell people, do social good for the good. Not for Instagram, not for Facebook. Do it because it's in your heart. Because that's what keeps reciprocity going. And that's what the nonprofit's about. Dear God, are we there yet? I open the nonprofit saying, God, are we there yet? Like, when is this going to happen? When am I going to get better? When is this? But there is right now, at this moment. It's now where you're here with me, giving me your time, listening. And even if you do get a book or don't get a book, at least you'll remember that the world is bigger than us, just alone. And that we don't have to wait for catastrophe or another COVID or whatever to say, let's go make some masks or let's go make some hats. Or I don't know someone, uh, I don't know, I don't know how to sew, but I know someone who can. Because that is what our world needs. So let me share with you the most important project. I had a hospital in Florida say to me that the number one thing when a woman gets a mastectomy is they go into depression. Why do you think that? Because their life is completely changed. Some people might say, well, it's just, you know, it's just right. like, oh, get over it. But it's not just that. It's a whole psychological thing that they're going through. So you get a, the, the pattern from the book, you download the pattern, it comes like this. And all you, you can literally do hand sewing it too, and it looks like a little heart, like this. You can sew it by hand, or you can sew it on a machine. And then it looks like this. And they put it under here for support. And they can actually put a shawl over it and walk around while they're, you know, um, in that, that process of healing. Uh, they can do it while they're watching TV. They can watch TV with it. They feel that their, their actual arm is not touching their, where they have incisions. And then a lot of women might use it later on for, for their history, if they have a hysterectomy, they might have it on their belly or between their arms. This is something that you just made that can change a woman's life and her healing process. And so this is actually one of the most popular items because it works. Uh, you usually have a little strap on here so that they can actually just hold on to it, go to the airport if they have to sit. Some people just go like this too, but the whole point is for the mastectomy. Uh, and it's all about healing. Another project I want to show you on here is uh, for kids to get them off of the <laughs> to get them off of the online and sometimes on the tablet. We have little pouches like this where they can actually fold them and put their uh, pencils. I tell people go to the dollar store, get some pencils, some crayons, some uh, brushes, put them inside, fold them up, and give them to children. You can give them to children elementary. Uh, daycare centers. There's so many underserved communities. How can we help? Crafting. Getting a book to a library and teaching them about cultures. Teaching them that we are all beautiful. We are all amazing. And that their circumstance at that moment is not forever. So this is just a couple of things from Crafts Create Change. So I thank you again for your time. I'm going to be signing books in the back if you want a book. Um, the book is $25, 80% of the book goes back into our nonprofit. You can look us up, Dear God, Are We There Yet? Um, it is a tax write-off, so I can give that to you when you purchase the book. You can get that um, and share it with your community, share it with the library. And if I can leave you with one thing, you don't have to be rich or famous to help. And that's it. Thank you so much. <laughs>